Kota is one of the vulnerable tribe inhabiting in Nilagiri hills of Tamil Nadu. The total population is 3053. Among them, 1514 are the males and 1539 are the females. The Kotas are inhabiting in seven villages in the Nilagiri hills. The Kotas are also called in different synonyms such as Kotar, Kotur, Kotar. The Toda call them as Koyuf, that is the cow people. Derived from the term Kota is clearly indicated from the Gouda Dravidian work Ko means cow which is considered sacred and they are also known as Komakkal. According to legend, Kota, Toda and Kurumbas have the same origin. It is believed that these three people emerged from a sweat of Kambatrayan who is supposed to be Shiva and thus have been the earliest dwellers of the Nilgari hills. One day Kambatrayan wanted to give gifts to the three people and asked them what they want. First one wanted to buffalo. They became popularly called as a Toda. Second one wants knowledge of art who become as quotas, who have skill of working with iron, wood to produce artifacts and furniture and are also experts in music. The other group asked to become sorcery and uh, magician and are the Kurumbas. Most of the quota houses are tailed houses. Some houses are having RCC roofs which were recently constructed by government. Some houses are having asbestos sheets. The tiled houses are present in the Amir Keri, Ki Keri, Nadu Keri or Kori Keri. Akeri and Akwal. The RCC roof houses are present in the Kazol Medu. Asbestos sheets house are present in Palakundumbal. The tiled houses are uh, represent the oldest house type. The houses is uh, constructed with either blade stone or bricks or both with the help of clay, which was later pasted by clay adding cement. The floor of the houses is uh, pasted with clay. The house has a very short threshold and doors of about 3 feet tall and 2 and a half feet wide, which are made of poor take. Some of them were made by Karuman take. They have a kitchen inside the house which you can observe here. The mud pots are uh, replaced with the ever silver uh, pots. The house is very clean and uh, hygienic. You can see the cooking they will generally they will do with the wood only collected from the forest. Some of the earthen pots still they are using are Kunda, Kuja and uh, Watta. The quota are well built and tolerable height, rather good features and light skinned having a copper color and some of them are the fairest shined among the hill tribes. They have well formed head covered with long black hair, grow long and let loose or tie up carelessly at the back of the head. They have a slightly elongated face with sharply defined features. The forehead narrow but prominent and occasionally protuberant ears, flat and lying close to the skull. Eyes are dark brown, modern, modern, moderate size and deep set and varying in color. Eyebrows are dark and bushy with a tendency to close the gap between each other. <laughs> the Kota men grow their hair and put a knot at the back of the head. This knot is called as Kajot. The priest called uh, Mundukotan Non and the Nattamai, who is the village headman, in wears the Kajot and also Kolatal, who is the assistant to the priests, and uh, Terkaran, who is the 
position is also wears the kajot kota women and girls are having the traditional hairstyle which is called as mandu it is like a, a different type of knot they pluck the mandu leaves and tie with a piece of cloth and make a mandu they wear a simple jewelry made by themselves earrings and uh, some of the chains made with the brass and the silver and also they have always we wear the black beads already i have uh, shown the topography of the village from the upper side and the lower side we have uh, three carries in this village i think enna enna na carries irukku nu solringa this is uh, this is this side is ameri eri amir ker amir ker amir ker etri vidu irukinga around 25 households are there in this uh, amir ker uh, uh, clan and uh, this side is nadi ker nadi ker nadi ker nadi ker idula undu etri irukum around 25 households are there in uh, nadi ker this uh, nadi ker and uh, amir ker are the exogamous groups they can marry within the we are among each other groups this is the one side of the village the another side back side third care is uh, amir care which is medicare uh, medicare arcare arcare so this is another one which is uh, presenting here in this village the th- third care which is around uh, 10 houses 10 houses uh, around 10 households so you can uh, find here three carries are there in this village enna na carry solunga aker aker medicare medicare amirgar amirgar there are three exogamous groups present in this uh, settlement so the total population evlo irukum in the village inga or 350 per so the total population of the village is around 320 this is the biggest uh, village among the kotas among the seven villages seven total villages. seven villages are there yeah. among the seven villages this is the biggest uh, village uh, among the kotas uh, traditionally they prepare fire by themselves in a indigenous way of rubbing the two sticks so it is called fire making is called nisgol nisgol and uh, for making fire they are need two sticks gandgol this is called as gandgol this is called gandgol pencol so these two sticks they will be using for uh, fire making now modern method they are using is another method prepared by themselves with a uh, bearing and which is crushing for the making of the fire what is it called idanna okay gandgol nisgol nisgol gandgol and nisgol gandgol this is nisgol and this will be used for making the fire stop for fire making they need uh, four people one for crushing the upper one is uh, for holding and third one is for making so totally there is a need of uh, four persons for uh, making the fire you can see here the charcoal is coming and falling on the cloth so it will still be done continuously for about 3 uh, to 5 minutes without stopping not stopping so that you can able to get the fire this is the fire mangana this is shubhoda mangana yeah waiting need to ஊதிக்கான <laughs> 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 that bond now he is uh, <coughs> yeah avan palaga che nee kalichu varan kara kadu paru 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 hey it's scheme ganda ndane adu kettlara ayya 
பாட்டு பசிக்கிறது அஞ்சா <laughs> ஆடுறது <laughs> 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 and it requires a minimum of four members by friction of the wood they have made this fire this is a ceremonious uh, ceremony locations they will use this fire uh, for lighting the camp lamps kota develop different uh, kind of economic activities such as agriculture carpenter cattle rearing blacksmith daily wage labor and government workers but the traditional work is uh, hunting and gathering which no more exists now in agriculture they use modern methods of cultivation employing latest techniques and technology they produce different kinds of uh, vegetables such as carrot beetroot cabbage potato garlic radish green peas and other uh, vegetables <laughs> the village is fully surrounded by tea estates few of them are having tea gardens cattle rearing is also very important economic activity which draws good income they produce milk milk products such as ghee butter curds they sell cow and uh, buffalo milk to the nearby cooperative societies the kota are experts in blacksmith they prepare the agriculture and domestic iron implements by themselves they also prepare the silver copper and gold jewelry for their own purposes by themselves here you can observe the preparation of the agricultural implements by themselves the agricultural implements they prepare by themselves with the help of all the households in the village you can see here they are uh, preparing the agricultural implements these are the agricultural implements prepared by the kotas by themselves uh, these agricultural implements are used for various purposes by themselves and they won't depend on outside uh, for the purchase of the agricultural implements agricultural implement used for uh, digging the soil in the parent what is kakot kakot its name is uh, kakot the next one is there are two different types of one one is for cutting the wood the parent madatha uh, madatha it is called as madat which is of made up by themselves for cutting the wood and it is uh, having a stick uh, this is for uh, taking out the grass from the uh, fields is there na kalakutai 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 here here we can find three different sizes of uh, same instrument for using at different levels of uh, crop for uh, color, taking away the uh, grass kudai 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 you kunu kal kudai kinu kal kudai the small middle one is A small one uh, it then kunugudai kalkudai mulugudai mulugudai so 
so these are the three different uh, sizes which will be used for two three different types of uh, crops or from the seedling to the main crop then we have the digging uh, stick this is called pare 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 which will be used for uh, taking huh? and this is the bigger one which is uh, used for mulla 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 is also used for agricultural purposes for digging out and uh, taking over the soil from Naga the mulla. field and uh, you can find here uh, three different uh, varieties of uh, knives the biggest one is uh, this is called as irwale which is having a long stick for holding and uh, for cutting and it is having a cap the second one is which is uh, cut and it is you can see here uh, this is a broad one which will be used for a uh, long uh, big size of uh, wood cutting the third one is kanakit which is a small one for uh, cutting the crop uh, crop cutting Kota know the carpentry. They prepare their own house construction materials by themselves. They prepare the doors, windows, beams for their house construction. They also prepare their own furniture by themselves. They never purchase the furniture or the household materials required for the construction of the house from the market this is a unique characteristics of the kotas the kota women are experts in preparing the pottery of different shapes and sizes they prepare the house roof tiles by themselves here you can observe the preparation of mud pots and vessels by themselves they spend lot of uh, leisure time for the preparation of the required household vessels here you can see for the preparation minimum 3 women is required they mix the clay with the sand and it is a long procedure to mixing and preparation of this clay you can see here different kind of mud pots and also the flower pots made by themselves these pots they also sell it in the market or they will exchange by barter system the staple food for kota is rice ragi jowar and different kind of millets which are produced by themselves <laughs> Mm-hmm.
ஓகே அந்த நாலஞ்சு கோடி ஒன்று ரெண்டு மூணு நாலு ஏன்னா ஆறு ஏ இப்போ நோடும் the kota are good in preparing the coffee here we can observe they have their own indigenous coffee preparation methodology so they collect the coffee seeds and fry it and powder it in the indigenous way it takes long time in preparing the coffee powder you can observe here more than 1 hour it took to prepare the coffee powder of course it is very delicious and uh, very nice the important life cycle ceremonies observed by kota or the naming ceremony head tonsure ear boring anna prasna that is uh, first feeding of food to the child puberty ceremony and marriage and death rituals this is the anna prasana ceremony he is perform here first they will uh, worship the kula daivam that is ainar here they have made with the mud and uh, with the grass that is the symbolic representation of the ainar here he is performing the mundan ceremony the hair is removed offered to the god you can uh, observe here the kota perform the naming ceremony after three moon days of the birth of the child on the third new moon day the naming ceremony is conducted for which all the village members are invited in case of first child the name given to the child is delivered by the elders of the family and selects a traditional or ancestral name while giving the name they put cooked samai food in the mouth of the child and the name is pronounced on this day a feast is hosted for all the invitees the relatives will be giving presentations to the child <laughs> the pre puberty ceremony is called jewels mintel more having a When a girl attains her first puberty she will be asked to stay in the tail poi which is a secluded house different types of drinks for the menstrual women from the segregation is observed for 5 days on the 5th day the maternal uncle brings new cloths sweets and presents it to the girl during the ceremony the maternal uncle son brings nephew his own kappara uh, leaves yeah. here you can observe and the leaf pair enna pa the leaves are given to the girl and the kappara leaves Kappa. of three branches yeah. will be thrown yeah. on to the Kappa. the pollution hut the so by throwing these leaves uh, on to the kappara top of the head huh. and she I throws right. on the house yeah. and marks the end of the pollution period so and she will be uh, taken into the house again third time she takes and she will be throwing on this ha ah, right ah. so with this the function is the uh, function concludes this ceremony marks with the mando ceremony it is a simple function making a girl as a bride on the half moon day the maternal uncle brings new cloths sweets to the proposed bride and the mando leaves the bride's father sister in the maran makes the mandu here you can observe attava the mandu is preparing by the bride father's sister kalyanam kalyanam munnale irundhu nadakkum appuram ethini ethin naal kalyanam nadakkum idu yechi pirpadu idu vandu kalyanam vandu koodi seekaram nadakkum appadina konja seekaramave indha mandu shastram pannuvaanga
பொண்ணு வந்து ஒரு குறிப்பிட்ட வயசு வந்தாச்சு அப்படின்னா எங்க சா பாருங்க கோட்டா பிராக்டிஸ் மோனகமி மேரேஜ் வித் இன் தி கேரி இஸ் ப்ரொஹிபிட்டட் தே ஹாவ் டு மேரி அவுட் சைட் தி கேரி தே கன்சிடர் தி மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆஃப் தி கேரி எஸ் பிரதர்ஸ் அண்ட் சிஸ்டர்ஸ் ஒன் கேரி கேர்ள் மேரி வித் இன் அதர் கேரி பாய் ஓன்லி பிகாஸ் தி கேரி மெம்பர்ஸ் ஆர் கன்சிடர் டு பி அக்னாக்டிக் குரூப் they do practice of cross cousin marriage monogamy is the most common practice the love marriages are allowed bride price exists among them the minimum bride price is 25 paise they have to pay the marriage ceremony is very simple function here you can observe that the bride groom side they will come to the bride's house and uh, performs this ceremony it is a very simple function they they request the bride whether she is accepting to marry the boy so once she is accepted they will be exchanging the rings and they will be given hand with the boy and the girl so this marks the end of the marriage and both the bride and bridegroom are asked to sit at and eat in one place so the bride price is uh, they are giving the bride price you can see here the bride's father is accepting the bride price and they will be having the traditional way of uh, blessing the bride and bridegroom here ah marunga செரிமணி மார்க்ஸ் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் தி செரிமணி பை cleaning the vessel and also cleaning the house by the bride here you can see the girl is cleaning the house where they have taken their foot this marks the end of the marriage wow. ceremony inda inda sastu bolunga poru illu odi sonna appo ini ini kuda periyum kada dodu padam is an important ceremony performed for the welfare of their livestock especially for their cows it is also locally called as uppu vechu shastram or salt giving function the ceremony is performed in the month of january it starts first on january 16th every year first it starts in the village Kudakottam village and ends at uh, Godalur Kokkal village. The ceremony is performed for the welfare of uh, the cows for a period of two days in every village. On this day, the Kota makes small pits in the ground and offers salt and water to the cows. They feel that it is a very important function for the welfare of the cows and its progeny. It is, you can see here, the water is added, then they will add the salt to the cows and it will be given to the cows, which is very important among the quota people. We have three different types of uh, panchayat system. 
the village panchayat is called as kokal kutum the, the and they have the seven villages panchayat it is called as um, yellow kutum and they have the religious panchayat for performing the religious ceremonies it is called as kudwal kutum so these three types of panchayats will be done in this village now we are going to see the uh, yellow kutum uh, sorry kokal kutum which is going to be dispute a case about the a property dispute of the household in the village adile paille avola avken or baap kod kod imiyala adanala abagad ni oppu koda alken panchayatile ame ye kurthile thir padukome avu baagad ni imiyala oppu koda oppu oppu yona ma sir na avu kod baap avu imiyala kod kod baap yona ai kod ai kod ai kod illa ni men pulagu sandrinte porattu okkal kaaga சந்தோஷமாயிடுவோம் <laughs> 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 focus panike then now we will carry on the property here is the sharing of the property by the two brothers now the case was disputed according to the uh, the traditional law which has been uh, constituted by themselves and they have the shares they have been given by them according to the traditional panchayat now the case is disputed without any problem and they have not need not go for any court or any other thing so they they have, they solve their cases without any problem for them themselves <coughs> <laughs> the kota worships their traditional gods such as kambatrayan kambateswari which are also called as ainar and ammanar they also worship masani amman and sikamman gods the ainar and ammanar temples have a separate temple boundaries where women are not allowed to enter into the temple boundaries in every kota village we find these ammanar and ainar temples which are very important uh, uh, gods for their worship which you can observe here the ainar and ammo temple in kunda kodagiri so this is the temple ainar and ammo temple where the temple boundary is demarcated and women are not allowed inside the temple to enter you can see the emblems of the shiva that is trishulam depicted in a different uh, primitive way of depiction of these gods and in every village we have this uh, rock stupas or stones which are kept so you can see here the compound wall made uh, around the temple apart from the traditional gods they also worship the great traditional gods of hindu pantheon such as brahma saraswati the goddess of learning the brahma the creator of the universe the lakshmi shri rama you can see here the lakshmi worshiped by them the shiva and uh, parvati you can observe here the shiva shri krishna and uh, the murugan is a important uh, god uh, 
for them and the ganesha is the important uh, hindu gods worshipped by themselves the ainar and ammanar festivals are celebrated once in two years that is in the month of uh, january the masani amman festival is celebrated in the month of march second week and the sikhi amman festival after the following eight day so this is the routine festivals which will be celebrated in every village once in uh, two years and every festival starts after seeing new moon the kota love music and dance they enjoy music we playing different instruments such as kinawar magudi hukiri pukarai sitai kolupat tarai tapetai tudi pambaji jako kanirad kubar and wed all these instruments are made with the wood and leather so these are the instruments which they are made by themselves you can see here the young boys like spend their leisure time in learning the music and also dance here you can observe the boys they are playing the musical instruments sir idu yerda pattukene enga basile solran oru saavu saavu saagum bodu uyir piriyara time le idha vechi da nanga saava nirnayam pandran அப்புறம் தான் அந்த சாவு சடங்களில் இதுக்கு மேலே தான் உபயோகப்படுத்தணும் இது மற்ற டைமில் எந்த இது விசேஷத்துக்கும் இதை நாங்கள் பயன்படுத்துகிறதே கிடையாது சாவுக்கு மட்டும்தான் இதை ஏறத பட்டு பயன்படுத்தணும் அந்த சாவுக்கு இதை பயன்படுத்தி அடிக்கும்போது அந்த ஊரில் ஒரு முக்கியஸ்தானம் ஆளை பார்த்து பெரிய ஆளை பார்த்து தான் இதை அடிக்க வைப்போம் வேறு யாரும் இதை அடிக்கக்கூடாது
the subsistence of economy of kota once was food gathering and hunting over a period of time the subsistence economy was changed to a great extent this is mainly due to the different factors like any other tribes in the world the kota are also victimized with the british administration in india the british administration in india discovered nilgiris as a temperate haven in 1922 john sullivan collector of coimbatore constructed a small bungalow on the site of what is now utakaman town in 1852 a military cantonment called wellington near kunur was established the british soon built a network of uh, bridle paths and uh, later roads across the nilgiris linking the new settlements with one another and with the plains of coimbatore constant contact with the non tribals caste people businessmen money lenders traders forest officials administrative authorities political workers religious preachers and introducing new number of uh, projects in the tribal areas for the benefit of the tribals are also responsible for the change in many walks of life of the kota the tribal development schemes which are introduced for the development of the kota and other tribes in nilgiris made the winds of change swiftly the launching of the welfare schemes in this region has further expedited the process of cultural change among the kota tribe the british introduced the european fruits and vegetables strawberries peaches peas beets cabbage cauliflower potato etc during sir william denison's governorship some direct aid was afforded to the new industry in uh, 1863 and 1864 by bringing down tea markets from northwest provinces by the end of 1869 200 to 300 acres has been uh, planted tea at uh, nilgiris large areas were planted to tea coffee acacia and eucalyptus the extent cultivated in the various states states according to the survey made in the 1878 was 843 acres so most of the quota lands were also affected in the process of development and change to a great extent british also are responsible for the change in the economic uh, life of the quotas the impact of contact with the non tribals can also be observed in the changes that have been brought about in their hairstyles personal decoration house decoration and material equipment the regrowing of hair and beard is being gradually abandoned and the hair cropping patterns of the plainsmen is being adopted the women also combing their hair like plain women their traditional ornaments are also replaced by the metal ornaments manufactured by the non tribals more and more metal utensils are brought in the place of local pottery the most perceptible change can be noticed in the spheres of public health due to the introduction of primary health centers dispensaries and mobile medical units have contributed for the improvement of health among the quotas in health and hygienic by providing correct diagnosis and modern medicines to the ailing persons under drinking water program protected water is being supplied to the all quota hamlets in order to arrest the spread of water borne diseases here we can see most of the quota households are getting protected water what are the major problems or issues we are facing uh, now for your survival the most important problem that we are facing in nilgiri hills or the immigration of the plain people the pressure on the land has increased the multinational companies are giving pressure on the tribes to sell their lands for construction of the hotels and resorts the tea and coffee industries are also expanding their business in a big way the elders of the kota are of the opinion that it is very difficult uh, for 
them to sustain the pressure of industrialists, politicians and bureaucrats. The government should come forward to do something to protect us from the pressures. Otherwise, we will be losing our identity and existence itself in the Nilgiri Hills. This is the only digital research channel in India producing the documentary ethnographic films on the endangered human populations and ethnic cultures of India. So subscribe this channel to know more about the endangered human population and ethnic